Hello! Welcome to my channel! Hi guys! My name is Wari G Live. I am a Filipino adventurer here in Chicago. I create travel vlogs and other <laughs> vlogs about my life here in America. Kung first time you po na makapanood ang video na to, please don't forget to like and subscribe para makareceive kayo ng notification whenever I make something like this. And you can also follow me through my social media accounts in Instagram and Facebook. This video, we're going to talk about Thanksgiving! Yeah! I grew up in a culture na hindi naman talaga celebrate on a national uh, level ang Thanksgiving. So, as a Filipino, I also want to share with you ano nga ba yung interesting facts about Thanksgiving dito sa America. Paano ito nagsimula? Sino yung mga persons involved? Kailan ba talaga dapat sinicelebrate ng Thanksgiving? Anong ginagawa nila sa Thanksgiving? Yeah. So, kung gusto niyo malaman, watch until the end of this video. Let's go! Thanksgiving is a national holiday here in the United States. Okay, simula natin yung kwento. Alam niyo ba, no September 1620, umalis ang Mayflower ship na rin England. Sakay-sakay ang 102 passengers. Mga kababaihan, mga kalalakihan, at mga bata who are seeking new homes so they can practice their faith. At ngayon, ang tawag nga sa kanila, o kilala sila sa tawag ngayon na mga buildings. At 66 days na paglalayag sa dagat, finally on November 11, 1620, narating nila ang Cape Cod. And after that, after a few weeks, they sailed going to Plymouth, Massachusetts. At doon na sila nagtayo ng sarili nilang town. Kasama ang mga Native Americans na ang tawag ay Wampanoag people. Hindi naging madali ang buhay ng mga pilgrims. Buti na lang, tinulungan sila ng mga Native Americans na magtanig ng crops. And, noong November 1621, that was the first known Thanksgiving celebration after the successful harvest of corn ng mga pilgrims. At ang unang U.S. President who issued the first Thanksgiving proclamation ay si President George Washington noong 1789. Ang sabi niya, He called upon Americans to express their gratitude for the happy conclusion of the country's war of independence and the successful ratification of U.S. Constitution. And, alam niyo ba, no 1862, President Abraham Lincoln proclaimed National Thanksgiving every fourth Thursday of November. At yung declaration na yan, ginawa niya sa kalagitnaan ng Civil War. And I quote, In treating all Americans to ask God to commend to His tender care all those who have become widows, orphans, mourners, or sufferers in the lamentable civil strife and to heal the wounds of the nation. Alam niyo ba na naging tradition na over the years na mag-gather about family dito sa United States to celebrate Thanksgiving. Actually, isa ito sa pinaka-busy na season ng mga airlines at ng mga kung ano-ano ng transportation means para makapunta sa bawat pamilya dahil magpa-party na nga sila. And, na, ito, naging, naging tradisyon na ang pagkain ng turkey. Mashed potatoes, mga berries and all. Pero alam niyo ba, noong unang Thanksgiving celebration, trivia lang to, 
wala talaga sila hanggang turkey pero ako kakain muna ng turkey at yan nga ang munting history ng Thanksgiving celebration dito sa Amerika and sa kasalukuyan Thanksgiving is not only celebrated here in the United States but all across the world pero alam nyo ba na ang concept ng Thanksgiving is older than 1600 years yes with the health technology using Logos Bible software alam nyo ba na ang concept of things appeared 102 times sa Old Testament and thankfulness appears 71 times naman sa New Testament what I'm talking about well that's before the pilgrims went to the United States noon pa man meron ng concept ng thanksgiving well there are several Greek and Hebrew words translated thanks and thanksgiving in the Bible at isa sa mga pinakagusto kong word dito ay from the Hebrew word yada y-d-h or the word yada and ito yung definition Acknowledging what is right about God in praise and thanksgiving. From 1 Chronicles 16.34 And it can also mean a right acknowledgement of self before God in confessing sin. Bakit sa dinami-dami yun ang words associated with thanks in the Bible? Ito yung pinaka-favorite ko. I love this definition because it is totally tied of who God is, yung characteristics. And it is beautiful because the more we learn about God, the more we should praise and glorify Him. At ang sabi nga ng sumulat ng psalm, in-encourage na tayo na magpasalamat sa Panginoon dahil sa kanyang character. Ano ba yung character ni God? He is loving God. And he performed so many miracles. Ang dami niya kamangha-manghang gawa. Hindi lamang sa iisang tao, kundi sa ating lahat. And with that, bago matapos tong video na to, I just want to encourage you from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Ang sabi doon, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. It is my prayer that more than the food, the celebration, the program, the gathering, we'll be reminded the real essence of being grateful or being thankful. That no matter how difficult or what our circumstances may be, we will always find reason to be thankful as we are reminded of God's character. We can be thankful for who God is. Like, we can be thankful that all things work together for good if we belong to God. And we can be thankful knowing that God's grace is sufficient to sustain us in every circumstances. And we can be thankful knowing that nothing can separate us from the love of Jesus Christ. I hope that God will continue to fill our hearts with gratefulness. Thank you for watching. God bless you.